security situation system on your region. Uh, as you know, I have talked to you in the class also, this is the structure of heart of a mammal. I think four chambers in heart. These two chambers are called auricles. These two chambers are called auricles or receiving chamber of the heart. And these two chambers are called ventricles or distributing chambers of the heart. This is the right side of the heart and this is the left side of the heart. Right side of the heart contains deoxygenated blood and left side of the heart contains oxygenated blood. Now let's move to the parts of the heart auricle. As I'm writing, this is the right auricle. This is the right ventricle. In between right auricle and right ventricle, you can see this is a curve-like structure. Curve-like structure which is known as valve. Actually, between right auricle and right ventricle, there is tricuspid valve present. These tricuspid valve. This is a tricuspid valve, you can see I have labeled here, is used to prevent backflow of blood because when blood comes from auricles to ventricles, it should not go back, that is why there is a valve present to prevent backflow of blood. Same here, in the left side of the heart, in between the left auricle and the left ventricle, there is a bicuspid valve, bicuspid valve, which prevents backflow of blood from left ventricles to the left heart. So here you can see right side of the heart is divided with the left side of the heart with a muscular structure in between the heart known as septum. Septum separates the right part of the heart from the left part of the heart. Then come to these openings. These are the openings present in the right auricle of the heart which receives impure blood of the body. This is the opening of superior vena cava. I have read it in the short form SVC. Superior vena cava. Superior vena cava brings blood of the upper part of the body towards the heart. And this is the opening of inferior vena cava, which brings the blood of the body, which brings the blood of the body towards the heart. Okay. And it opens into the right orifice. When these orifices are filled after receiving the blood from the superior vena cava as well as the inferior vena cava, then blood enters into the ventricles through this valve. Valve becomes open and the blood enters the valve again closed. Valve open, blood enters, valve again closed. Open, close, open, close. This way the blood enters into the right ventricle. When the right ventricles are filled, then because the ventricles walls are muscular and thick as compared to auricular walls to exert the pressure to uh, help flow of blood into the pulmonary artery. As we know that arteries are the blood vessels which carry pure blood, veins are the blood vessels which, pure, which carry impure blood, but exceptions are always there. Here you can see this is a pulmonary artery, but it carries impure blood, deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle towards the lungs. You can see, you can see this pulmonary artery carries impure blood from the right ventricle towards the lungs for purification. Here the blood is purified and it comes back into the left organ through pulmonary vein. You can see I have drawn this structure in the pulmonary vein as well as pulmonary artery also. Actually these are also valves present in pulmonary artery as well as pulmonary vein to avoid backflow of blood. To avoid backflow of blood. Then these valves are called semi-lunar valve because they are like half moons. So, you can see here, when the blood from the lungs comes through pulmonary vein into the left auricle, left auricle, as I said, it's a receiving chamber, it receives the pure blood through the pulmonary vein, then through bicuspid valve, the blood enters into the left ventricle. When left ventricles are filled with the blood, then blood passes from left ventricles 
to the parts of the body to the biggest artery of the body known as aorta. Aorta is carrying blood away from the heart, so that is why here also valves are required to avoid backflow of blood, so the blood should not bring back into the heart. And then it branches and passes the blood to all the parts of the body. So this way, the heart pumps the blood throughout the body. Heart is a pumping machine, and this way you can understand how the blood circulates throughout the heart and as well as up of the body. The wall of the heart is muscular, made up of cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles are special type of muscles which help in contraction, relaxation, contraction, relaxation through which the heart becomes healthy and pumping the blood throughout the body. There is a membrane which covers the muscles of the heart known as pericardium. The membrane which covers the heart is known as pericardium. Pericardium is a membrane between membrane and heart muscles. There is a fluid, fluid that fluid is known as pericardium. Fluid through this fluid, heart muscles get rid of shocks. So this way, heart is being explained. I hope you have understood.